Hey, this will be a quick video. Uh, has to do with Bible prophecy. This is from the brother Rakaya Kwam of GMS London. And um watching a little bit of his live uh, lesson here, The Least of the Flock. That's the so-called Jews. Now, according to Bible prophecy, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through his son, Yahweh Shai, will use the so-called Jews and that tiny state of Israel, because that's what they got over there. They got the state of Israel going back to 1948. And that's not what Bible prophecy talks about concerning the nation of Israel. It doesn't call it a state. It calls it the nation of Israel complete with all 12 tribes. But what the so-called Jews have, which prove that they're not the people that the scriptures are talking about, as in the Israelites, which prove they're not the people, they have a state of Israel, which goes back to 1948. And uh, it's created David, David Ben-Gurion. So, uh, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through his son Yahweh Shai, is going to use that state of Israel to help kick off World War III. So without further ado, what I did was pause it. This video is going on live right now. I paused it around the part where um, the brother, uh, up-and-coming elder, Rakaya Kwam, speaks about it. So let's check it out. Russia, Syria, Iran, Iraq coalition. And they've already operated together in Syria. All right, you can go and look that up. Okay, the Russian Iranian Hezbollah military triangle. And so Russia will defend their, have shown that they will defend their interests in Syria, in Iran. So if, if the Israelis attack um, Russia, then guess what? Not Russia, attack Iran then guess what? A war between Israel and Iran becomes a war between the United States of America because they, they will always back Israel and Russia. And that's ultimately what's going to draw these guys into the war. So we got to keep an eye on... So that makes perfect sense. Now, you notice, right, he, he brought out... Let me see if I can bring that back. A coalition. All right. Let's see if I can bring that back. Yeah, it is right here. You have the Russia, Syria, Iran, Iraq coalition. Now, indeed, according to Bible prophecy, Iran will be joining Russia. Iran will be a god to Russia. So the interests, the interests, in, the Russian interests in Iran, if the tiny state of Israel attacks Iran, that will draw, okay, that will draw, um, that will draw Russia into war against Israel, the tiny state of Israel, which will draw America, just like you heard Rakaya Kwam said, which will draw America into a war with Russia, uh, with the tiny state of Israel being by proxy a reason for America to get into war with Russia. So it's beautiful, man. And what's heavy is, just like the scripture said, in, uh, let me show it to you, in the prophecy in Ezekiel 38, remember one of the titles of the Heavenly Father is the Lord of Hosts, which when you look it up, uh, the Lord of Sabaoth, which means the Lord of Troops, uh, in Exodus 15 and 3, it says the, the Most High is a man of war. Let's, let's get that scripture so you can see it for yourself. And those of you that are new to this, you know, this, this world doesn't know the Heavenly Father. Neither, the, neither, does, neither, does they, neither does this world know the Son of the Heavenly Father. They don't know the Heavenly Father, and they don't know the Son of the Heavenly Father. All right, they haven't got a clue. This is why in Isaiah 61, it says gross darkness to people. The majority of the people of this world, they haven't got a clue what's going on. Anyway, Exodus 15 and 3, let's read it. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. So the heavenly father, Yahweh, is a man of war. Hence his title, the Lord of hosts. 
all right, the Lord of hosts, the Lord of Sabaoth, which means the Lord of troops. The Heavenly Father is the one that mustereth the hosts of the battle, the different countries that's going to go to war against each other. The Heavenly Father is at the helm of it, okay? So, let's go to Ezekiel, and let me show you in prophecy that Iran most certainly will be joining Russia. Now, this is Ezekiel, the 38th chapter, begin at the third verse, and say, Thus saith the Lord power, the Lord of troops, behold, I am against thee. So the Heavenly Father is against Russia, all right, because at the end of the day, it's Edomites ruling Russia, and the Heavenly Father is against Edomites, period. It's time to take, down, take them down from their power. That includes America and Russia, okay, because they're both Edomites. And say, thus saith the Lord power, behold, I am against thee, O Gog, which is the Monday Gog, is Russia today. I've already explained that in previous videos. The chief prince of Misha and Tubal. And I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws. Right, the, the, the mentality that Vladimir Putin has is to bring back Mother Russia, imperialist Mother Russia. That's, that's the goal that's upon him. He wants to bring back the old Soviet Union, the old old mother russia okay and that is why he wants the ukraine to come out of that uh that uh, uh that mentality that they're in and joining the um I forgot the group right now the, the title of the group the title of the group slipped my mind right now so many things to remember um the eu i believe it's the eu right um if i'm wrong brother can correct me in the comment section but i believe it's the uh the ukraine the the i uh, was thinking of joining the eu and uh, the russians don't want any part of that okay so that's an example among many of the heavenly father putting hooks into the jaws of the leader remember as it is written the heavenly father works on the minds of these kings the minds of these leaders. So this is why Vladimir Putin is staunch against it. The Ukraine joining the EU. Uh, um, this is why uh, uh, the Heavenly Father is putting the hooks in their jaws, bringing them back. In this case, Russia back to that imperialist state. Right? So that's the prophecy there. And I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws. And I will bring thee forth and all thine army, horses, and horsemen. All of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords. So what's happening now is the Heavenly Father is gearing up the so-called Russians for war, for World War III. That's, that's where we're approaching, okay? That, that, that war pot is brewing, right? Now, the next verse, the fifth verse, Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya with them. All of them with shield and helmet. Now, again, going back to what Rakaya Kwam brought out. Uh, Iran. All right. Uh, in Wikipedia, you have the Russian Syria Iran Iraq coalition. And to show you that Iran is part of the Russian coalition, according to Bible prophecy, we see here Persia will be joining the Russians in this world war world war three right among the many countries that's going to fight with russia persia now do you know that persia is iran how do we know this well let me show you uh back in 1935 persia became iran uh, i typed in when did persia become iran the year was 1935 all right let's read this passage here in the western world persia or one of its cognates, was historically the common name for Iran. On the Nowruz, or Nowruz, however you pronounce it, of 1935, Reza Shah asked foreign delegates to use the Persian name, or the Persian term, Iran, meaning the land of uh, Aryans, Aryans in persian okay the the end endonym the endonym of the country 
informal correspondence. So Persia became Iran. So if we put the name that should be there, you can see how everything is coming according to Bible prophecy. Now keep in mind, this Ezekiel, this was written, what, uh, Ezekiel came on the scene around 500 something BC, somewhere around there. So you're looking at what? You're looking at uh, more than 25 uh 2500 years 2500 years uh since this prophecy has been written and now it's really coming into fruition all right so once again man this is why it's so important to get into bible prophecy but again this is no coincidence okay you have a russian coalition as russia syria iran and iraq this is according to bible prophecy all right, Ezekiel 38 and 5, Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya, with them, all of them with shield and helmet. There you go. So once again, Bible prophecy. So with that, it's on to the next one.